legalize medical marijuana, there's been no increase of use of marijuana among young people. This theory that you know, it becomes more acceptable and more young people will use it has just actually not been proven true. There's not the, the science to back that up. And here in Colorado, it's, it's especially important because the most recent data from the Center for Disease Control, they, um, they, they interview about 50,000 students every two years, 1,500 here in Colorado. They show that marijuana use has not increased here in Colorado since 2009. And the data actually suggests that it's decreased. And the marijuana has decreased two percentage points since we began licensing and regulating medical marijuana dispensaries. And we're actually, marijuana use among young people in Colorado is below the national average. And, and we believe this is because when we take marijuana off the street corner, when we put it behind the counter, it's the better way for, as a society to control marijuana use. When, it's, when we prohibit marijuana altogether, we have no control. Drug dealers who are breaking the law, they don't check IDs. And it's often, you know, they're the ones to blame for the so-called gateway here. Um, you know, it's, you know it's, it's these drug dealers who, you, you know, they, they have some marijuana and they're also pushing other drugs. And so when we, if we can take marijuana out of their hands, you know, well, it'll be so much better for, for our young people here in Colorado. A couple other things Amendment 64 does is it requires the legislature to enact an excise tax of up to 15% on the wholesale sale of marijuana with the first $40 million earmarked for capital school construction. Um, this is in addition to all the sales tax. Here, here in Denver, Colorado, each month the city of Denver brings in $350,000 in sales tax for medical marijuana businesses. And there's about five times more people who use marijuana for non-medical purposes than for medical purposes. And so these businesses here, you know, through our medical marijuana regulation, they've, they've been effectively regulated. It's possible. They pay taxes. A lot of them have bank accounts. There is a banking issue, but a lot of these businesses actually do have banking, banking accounts. 